Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Attack on Titan. You guys, it has been a crazy, crazy ride. If you're joining me early today, you know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and you know as always, I'm sending you those big old hugs right through the screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon will be in that description down below. So I don't even know what to say about last episode of Attack on Titan. I'm still like in shock about it. All I can gather is that maybe Aaron is pizza flavored. And yeah, so Aaron has been eaten again, but um, I do think that he's alive. I do think that um, that's where we're going with this. I think she wanted to take him alive. I don't know why. Um, but boy, has she gotten on the wrong side of Mikasa. And let me tell you, Mikasa was holding her own for like a little bit, like as much as anyone on Squad Levi did. Um, maybe not quite as much, but I mean, she was just one person. So, um, man, <laughs> whoever's inside that Titan better pray. They, uh, they do not, um, encounter Mikasa. Especially not while they're all tightened out, you know, or if they weren't a titan. If it was, I mean, person to person, Mikasa would, like, have that done in 0.2 seconds. Dead. Buried. Done. Um, but wow, this female titan, though. So, I don't know if any of this will be answered or, for it, or if it will be answered right away. But I think that if it's, like, a normal person that we just already know, for example, Annie, which I'm really, I'm really starting to wonder now, um, because we do know that they mentioned last episode, it's most likely someone who saw, like the Titans stopped their mission because they saw, because somebody must have seen whoever the spy was, saw Aaron turn into a Titan, which really, that freaked me out because the Titans have a plan now. Like the Titans can be, I didn't ever think of them as like that intelligent, but someone is either pulling strings or they're more coherent than they look. Um, but assuming, let's say that maybe whoever is doing the spying is somehow rallying the Titans or, or something of that nature. Um, Annie was there. She was there to see Aaron turn into a Titan. And actually, I think the scene that they showed was him being pulled out of the Titan. So basically they knew about him being a Titan. But anyway, um, yeah, so if it is just like a normal person from our squad or whatever, or like the, the, the kids that we know, were they enhanced somehow? Because even like just having the strength to be able to get out of the Titan, recover and turn back into the Titan. I mean, like she was up doing maneuver gear stuff and everything. Like Aaron like was like a, like a blob when he got out of his thing. He couldn't do anything. He didn't even know who he was. Um, either they're a lot more experienced or like somehow physically enhanced because um, I don't think a normal person could do that unless they were somehow altered. Um, maybe when the Titan abilities were given, assuming that they were given, and this isn't something even worse, like <laughs> humans can be turned into Titans now, like the, the zombie vampire way, I don't know. I just don't even know anymore. I don't know anything. So, <laughs> but... We've got to be closing in on the end of the first season now. I'm about to watch episode 22. I do not look ahead on the episodes because of the episode titles and the thumbnails that appear on Crunchyroll when I'm watching. I don't want to be spoiled on anything. Um, but assuming that this is a 24, 26 episode season, um, yeah, I'm going to be finishing it up pretty soon. Uh, so that's exciting because it really doesn't feel like it's been a whole season. It just feels like it's been this crazy unfolding drama, mystery, action. Um, so the entire, like, so many members of Squad Levi are gone, just were taken out in an instant. And I had said at the beginning of last episode that, um, you know, it was really concerning that the female Titan could take out one of them. 
because they were such a powerful squad. And boy, did they get in some good shots on her, but I just don't know what it's going to take to take her down. The skin hardening thing is like, how do you beat that? I don't know if you can beat that, you know? Because the only way to kill her, I mean, unless she was like unconscious as the Titan. That's the only thing, unless it's like automatic. Like I'm assuming she hardens that up when there's danger, like consciously. It might not even be conscious. I, I really have no clue. Um, anyway, where was I? Where was I going with this? I think I was just saying uh, I got nothing. I don't know how they're going to get out of this, but... Yeah, so Aaron is hopefully, presumably alive inside the belly of this female titan. Boy, if I were him, I would make a mad dash right for, like, where the base of her neck is. I don't think, I, you, I'm sure you can't tell that from the inside. I don't know if there's any way for him to, like, climb up her stomach lining into, like, her throat. And <laughs> I don't think he has any of his weapons in there. Um, but, yeah. What would happen if he, like, bit himself and turned into a titan now? You know? Because he did that, and he burst out of the... He burst out of the other titan that had eaten him. Did that titan die? That might be one way to kill her right there. She made herself real vulnerable when she did that, because he'll just, like, burst and just, like... Although I think, um... When he did that, I soon remember, like, the horrifying imagery of, like, him coming out of the Titan's mouth. Like, I don't think the Titan just, like, burst around him as he... I think it was, like, gradual. But, man, if he could do that, that would be one way to take her out right there. Huh. Well, what do you say we find out? Next episode, Attack on Titan. Let's go. Now he's just going to go the opposite way. Now he's going to be like, no one's ever going to help me ever again. The defeated. Oh, we just, mm, boy, we need a win. That's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah, this happened once before. Does he know that? Does Levi know that? Oh, yeah, she's not loving Levi right now. Please work. Oh, she sees him. Shoot. Oh, she's fast. Oh, look at him go. Oh, in your face, literally. Dang. Levi don't play. Now we get to see what Levi's made of. This is great. <laughs> this, oh, I could tell. I'll, I'll take more of this, please. She doesn't even know what hit her. But. If you do, what about Aaron, though? Oh, it's a trap! It's a trap! No, it's a trap! No, girl, no! Huh? Oh, oh, there he is! Oh, my God, there he is! Oh, my God, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him, get him, get him! Oh, wow. Levi is smart as heck. Oh, they got... Well, I thought that was going to be way harder. She didn't... Ew. Yeah. Just, just get Aaron and go. Gotta protect Aaron. Don't stop standing there letting her heal. Mmm. That's an understatement. I, wow, I really thought that was going to be even harder than it was. I thought she'd already have digested him. Why did they hurt me this way? Look at, look at the just line of bodies. Oh, my lord. 
Oh, I was kind of hoping the hand would move and one of them would still be alive. That was cruel. You gotta just live as long as you can in a world like this. My girl Sasha. This is devastating. Well, but, oh, it's so sad. Oh, Lord, they deserve the closure, you know? But at the same time, though. But, but you know what, though? I think their families kind of deserve to know their dad if they know their dad. You know what I mean? Because then they're always going to wonder if they're out there. The action stuff we see is such a small part of this whole thing. The real story, the real stuff that takes place when we're not watching the action and everything is all the this. You know, having to tell the families and... God, it's just... Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's just... God... It just, it makes you happy to be alive in this time, believe it or not. <laughs> in a world where there's not Titans. Oh, are you Oh, no. Oh. Look at the, look at the move. It's so unnatural. Wait. Did they, oh my God, did they go back? They went back. They went back and it looks like one of them's dead and they brought Titans. Oh. oh no! Was he even? Was he even still the wolf? He's he wasn't dead. I don't think he's dead now. Oh. Well, what's what's this about? What's what's that about? The one that's just like waving his hands around like you just don't care. See, and now he's lost another friend. It's very, very sad to say, but now he's lost another friend. And now he's gonna die too. Oh, or not. Bye bye You've killed your last person. Oh, Mikasa, my girl. That's a shame. Ouch. Oh, they all oh, they have to let because they have to okay. They have to speed up so they have to let the the bodies out. Now see that's a terrible shame because if those two guys had just listened, then they could have at least brought some bodies home. Oh, but that Petra? No god, it's Petra. He says it's not important, but I know he doesn't feel that way. Look at his eyes. I can't believe he got the little patch. At least there's something. So now that scene means even more. Oh, 
お前に助けてもらったのか Well, actually, she had a little help. Oh, Now he's on the other side of it. Oh, Aaron, don't do, don't get up. Do not. Aaron. Right. You're not going to change their minds or their hearts. But there's the kids who are excited to see them. Just like he was. Look at all his little tooth missing. No! No. Wow. So, is that kind of it for the Survey Corps? Are they going to be like cut back on everything? Oh, Aaron. <coughs> Yeah. No! No! Oh! All right, you guys. Let's talk. Because. I don't even know. Every Everything's just going heck here. The moment with the two guys was so sad because who wouldn't want to go back and get their friend. But the fact that they went back and got their friend caused so many <laughs> other problems. And like one of the guys died. And then like there were other families that now could not have that closure of having the, the body of their loved one return. And I got a little emotional because, you know, like not to... <laughs> Not to make this like a big sad thing. I know, you know, what we're watching is fiction. But it just makes your heart hurt for like the real life situations where, you know, people have to get the news that like their loved one is not coming back, you know. Like, um, it's, uh, it's very eye-opening about how, um, grateful I feel to have the kind of life that I do. Um, but wow, it's... That just hit me a lot harder than I thought it was going to, especially at the end with Petra's dad. And they had kind of teased, like I forgot about this, but they had kind of teased that Petra was sort of into Levi. And like his little comment about, because I don't think Levi knew really, and his little comment about, well, I think she's a little too young to get married personally. And I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I feel like Levi's face was kind of like, oh my god, like she wanted to marry me. <laughs> Like, he didn't even know, like, he didn't realize her feelings before she died. Um, oh, it's, it's, the whole thing's just heartbreaking. And like I said, like, we see the action parts and everything, but the reality is, like, the majority of this show, like, the majority of the world that this show is set in is just, like, the aftermath of all this stuff. It's just, it's just, it's horribly, like, it's horribly depressing and heartbreaking, but honestly, like, I feel the way that I did after, like, watching The Walking Dead, where I'd just be like, oh my goodness, I, you know, like, I'm so <laughs> lucky to have the life that I do, like, there's no walkers, there's no titans, there's no anything, and, and, and certainly there are lots of other threats in the world, but... Um, and that's why it just like made me really sad to think about like the people who are in the actual military and and like the families that have to get news like this. And but I just I won't get into. I know we're here to talk about anime, but it just um, I think anime is very powerful and effective for making you think about the real world as well if you let it. Because ones like this are very well written and very well done, and and uh, I can't help but think that maybe that's um, some of the more thought provoking elements are are their goal. Um, but wow, um, that female titan had better pay dearly when they catch her. I hope they catch her. 
I, um, I can't imagine why anyone would go. What must have happened to her that was so horrible? The hu whoever, whatever humans inside this Titan. What happens to a person that makes them go and act in a way that's going to have repercussions like what we just saw? You know, like that, like at the end of the day, like, yeah, she's awful. I want to get her everything. But like, it makes you think, what is her story? I'm sure I hope at some point we'll get it if we ever find out who's in there. Um, but wow, just that, that one, like the one before that was just really like action packed and got me like, I was buzzing at the end. And this one just makes me feel like really bleak. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see what happens next though. Um, but man, having to deal with like telling the family it's never that, um, got me really, really hit me in the feels really hard. So, all right, well, we are heading, I think, pretty quickly into the end of the season. I'm hoping some things will get resolved. I'm hoping we'll have some wins, some positive things. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more cliffhangers and more crazy stuff. We'll see. I cannot wait to watch it with you guys. I really, um... I'm, I'm really getting a lot out of the show, even in the moments where I'm not, like, enjoying it, enjoying it. Like, I'm really, really glad I'm watching it, and I'm glad that you're watching along with me. So please be sure to join me next time, and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys!